as a lot of you may know, Wanda, my lovely wife, absolutely loves the picture non books. You all of them, some of them, she's even got twice. So, what's even better for pinch of non is Wanda loves her air fryer, the Ninja Dual Zone Technology Air Fryer. So, imagine Wanda's excitement when Pinch and Nom bring out this. Pinch of Nom Air Fryer, easy slimming meals. She can't contain her excitement. So I thought what I'd do today is I'd show you some of the recipes and take you through the book, I'll really show you. And then you can pick if you anything you in there you fancy that you might want me and Wanda to cook. We've just got a ratatouille stand as well. So I'll set you up. And uh, this is currently on sale. It's only on loan, uh, online at the moment, I think Wanda was saying. I picked it up on Amazon. It's £10, obviously we've got Amazon Prime, so there's no delivery. And I think that's a, a, a very decent deal. So I'll set you down, what we'll, do, we'll go through some of the recipes. And I think it's got some stuff about different air fryers and why air frying food's good for you and how they're more energy efficient than your oven, etc, etc, etc. But I'll set you down and we'll go through the book. So as I say, this book's, I think it's new out this week, Wanda, isn't it? Yeah, it's new out this week, so as I say, it's available on Amazon. And that's where I picked it up from, and I'm sure it'll be in Tesco and Asda and everywhere else after that. Uh, made by these guys, Kate and Kate Allison. One's got all the other books which, um, that she cooks a lot of stuff out of, cooks a lot of fresh food. Um, so yeah, see what's going on in the book itself. Look at the contents. Give you a quick hello, welcome to our most requested cookbook ever. So th there's a lot of love for air fryers. They're, they're a hell of a thing that's sort of taken off in the last probably two or three years, I would have thought. So obviously there's been a lot of people requesting this. It's got an intro of why it's been requested, very easy to use. Now some of these wonders look through this, so have I. Some of these recipes don't just require the air fryer. Some of them, the air frying is the final part of the actual cook. Uh, but yeah, some of the recipes look really, really nice. So it tells you all about air fryers, um, why people have been blown away by them, how do air fryers work, etc. So you've got different style of air fryers. Obviously, we've got a Ninja ourselves. You've got dual drawers. You've got single drawer air fryers. Uh, which for air fryer did the, they use? So in this book, they're actually using the same one that we've got does the wattage of your air fryer matter functions temperatures and preheating settings different baskets drawers and shelves and a very critical part of air fryers is how to clean them um, this one is this dual air fryer from ninja very easy to clean you got the food um, so apparently Kate's a classically trained chef um, it tells you about their mission and all about pinch of nom you got recipe tags, everyday light, weekly indulgence, so you can have a, like, a, a, like a cheat day, I suppose. So the calories, freezing, um, freezing options, key ingredients, protein, herbs and spices, stock sauce and thickness. It's got all this other stuff like eggs, potatoes, pulses and rices, self-raising flour. So it's telling you basically the basic ingredients that they use, I think. Their favourite kit, kit, so you can need, obviously if you're going to do some air frying, you're going to need an air fryer, that goes without saying. It tells you some of the accessories that you might want, tongs and gloves, bakeware, grill racks, skewer racks, basting brush, uh, silicon liners, ramekins, uh, meat thermometers, and it gives you an overview of these things on this page here. Kitchen basics like non-stick pans and a hob, mixing bowls, heat proof jugs and everything else that you probably really should already have in your kitchen. Garlic crumb, that looks nice, doesn't it? Getting hungry already. Uh, Tupperware, it's got a conversion chart, so if you're cooking it in an oven, it's got air fryer conversion charts, and it gives you the, the conversion from centigrade in a, an oven, fan assisted oven and an air fryer. Um, it tells you if what you're cooking, so vegetables, what temperature you should be cooking at and how long you should be cooking them for. 
So, and sort of potatoes, meat and poultry and fish. And then we're on to the fun bit. We're on to the things you can cook in your air fryer. So, let's see what we can find. So you do a breakfast bake. So you, that takes 10 minutes prep and 10 minutes to cook and serves one. Obviously you're gonna need these ramekin things. They look fantastic. Next in the breakfast, loaded hash browns. They look nice. Uh, so 10 minutes to cook between 10, what's that, 10 minutes cooking, 20 minutes cooking and a 30 minute cooling process. They serve one as well. Bacon and cheese frittata. 10 minutes cooking and 20, uh, sorry, 10 minutes prep and 25 minutes cooking. That serves two. That looks very nice as well. Who's that nice, aren't they? So going to a McDonald's. Sausage and egg McMuffins. Done in your air fryer. 10 minutes prep and 20 minutes cooking. Serves four or one scot. Banana and raspberry French toast. I won't be having that. But they look nice. Cinnamon breakfast buns. Peach Melba baked oats. And then we're on to fake away. So everybody likes a fake away. So obviously a slightly less calorific version of a takeaway. Cheesy garlic naan zones. So obviously naan breads filmed with uh, filled with cheese and garlic. They look very nice. Char Mess this one up. Char Shui, Char Shui style pork tenderloin. Even Wanda turned around and said, That looks nice. So, it doesn't look like that. Um, that's five minutes prep and only 18 minutes to cook. Serve so three. Yummy, yummy. These look fabulous as well. Barbecue pulled chicken. Everybody loves pulled chicken. The only time I've had pulled chicken, I pulled chicken on a uh, jacket potato from the jacket potato ladies in Portsmouth, absolutely fabulous. If you live in Portsmouth, get yourself along to the jacket potato ladies. They look nice. They're in a sort of, looks like a wholemeal roll or something or a brown roll, pulled chicken. Fantastic. What's the time? It's 10 past 11 and I'm feeling hungry. I'll show you what Wanda's making later when we get to it. Zinger burger, obviously not copyright of KFC. Um, they, these are covered in I think chili tortilla chips. So you crush them down, mount, uh, cover them in your chicken, and stick them in your air fryer. 10 minutes to uh, to prep and 15 minutes to cook serves too. That's on the list. Tex-Mex style chicken. I think that's a, a bit like the the one that we've just had, which is the Zinger Burger. Uh, that's got, again, chili tortilla chips, small uh, bonus chicken breasts, eggs, etc. But that looks very, very nice. Get rid of that, put some chips on there. Homemade. Sweet potato katsu. The so katsu curry or katsu sort of um, coating on sweet on sweet potato. That sounds quite, I quite like sweet potato. Quite nice. Sticky teriyaki aubergine. Might be having that. Shish kebab. That looks yummy, yummy, yummy. 20 minutes to prep and 10 minutes to cook. Because a lot of these are really simple quick things to do in your air fryer. This is high on the list. Absolutely love salt and pepper chips. And I know they've done it. Let's face it, there's absolutely no way this cookbook would be complete without a page dedicated to salt and pepper chips. Oh, that's high on the list. Um, 10 minutes to cook, 10 minutes, so uh, sorry, 10 minutes to prep, 10 minutes soak in, and 30 minutes to cook. Yeah, baby. Pizza turkey burgers. Oh, that's on top, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Um, turkey breast mints. Uh, it tells you all down here, all the things you need, what you're gonna need. Um, if you could, whether you can freeze it, um, the, whether it's dairy free. And then it gives you a, a broad breakdown on how to actually cook the things. We've got Madras meatballs. That's got two spices, so that's gonna be nice. Wonder won't touch them. Loaded cheeseburger fries. They look fabulous as well. So this, one's, this one looks like it's gluten free. Uh, use of a stock cube, etc. Again, the thing of what you're going to need. That's 15 minutes prep, 10 minutes soaking, and 30 minutes to cook. That serves for one Scott. Kung Pao pork, I like Kung Pao chicken. It's the uh, Chinese recipe. 
This has got two spices, and that could be quite nice. That looks fabulous as well. Uh, gochujang chicken nuggets. I don't know if we've read gochujang. Watch a lot of Master Chef, and they use it quite a lot in that. They look, it looks like a, what was that, like sweet and sour chicken nuggets. They look absolutely fabulous. Fish and chips fish cakes. That's interesting. The fish and chip fish cakes were made for Friday nights. Friday night fish and chip uh, fish cakes. They be coming your way. Feta stuffed falafels. We've got loads to get through. This could be a long video. Feta stuffed falafels. Curry puffs. We're having the cut. A bit of a secret. We're having the curry puffs tonight. Crispy chili beef. Let's skip through a bit because it'll be like the longest video in the world. Chicken tikka masala you can make in your air fryer. Chicken souvlaki and tzatziki. Chicken in orange. If you don't like orange or chicken, you're not going to like the chicken in orange. Chicken and sweet corn pizza calzoni. Nice. Chicken and pineapple skewers. These are all fake. Right? Now we're onto the bakes and roasts. Crispy lemon and parmesan chicken. I bet you're all sort of salivating. Creamy pesto salmon. Wonder, little known secret, Wonder's never had salmon. You can put a whole chicken in your air fryer and let it roast away. We haven't done that yet. Sausage curry bake. Sausage pasta, sausage pasta bake. What a pasta bake. Cozy pigs in the hole. They look nice. Chicken Kiev, chicken Kiev, pasta bake. That looks nice. Cheesy potato gratin. Salmon fish cakes. All in your air fryer. Cheese and bacon phyllo tarts. Barbecue meatloaf. Roasted Parmesan sprouts. Anyone that doesn't like sprouts, you're mad. And they look absolutely yummy. Roast potatoes, we do. So, do we do, do you do roast potatoes in your own air fryer? Right, so that now. Uh, maple glazed gammon. Maple glazed carrots and parsnips. Cofty meatball bake. Lasagna. Now, you're obviously going to have to fry off the mints and everything before. You can't just chuck it all in there and expect it to be a... a well, going back to one of the things I said, but some of it requires prior cooking before you actually get the um, the air fryer involved. Hunter's chicken, one of Leah's favourites. No wonder like Hunter's chicken as well. Fluffy jacket potatoes or spicy tuna. Now we're on to light bites. Air fryer chickpeas. Viking croquettes. They come aboard on a boat. Sweet potato and feta parcels. Smoky bacon scotch eggs. And I wonder did mention this, that it's like almost like a, uh, a breakfast wrapped around an egg. So we might well be getting involved in that at some point. Almost I suppose. Cheese and onion, sweet corn stuffed peppers. Absolutely love a stuffed pepper. Can we eat sausage rolls in your air fryer? Potato dogs. Pizza swirls. A gouda and gouda, gouda, and cranberry toasty. Can make a toasty in your air fryer? Cheese, cheesy roasted vegetable soup. Obviously you're gonna need a blender because you're not just gonna blend it in your air fryer, are you? Cheese and onion bakes. Cheese and chive scones, 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 whatever you call it. Bro broccoli, broccoli, I'm sure that must be broccoli, to spell it weird. Broccoli bites, blooming onion with dipping sauce. That looks fabulous. I didn't see that one earlier. Aloo bora, aloo bora. And now we're on to the sweets. And the first one up is something that I'm very excited about. Cherry Bakewell slices. They look to die for. Biscoff banana bites, white chocolate and blueberry muffins. Might be everything. Sweet samosas, pavlovas, 
pavlova, I don't know what it's called, whatever you say it. Orange and lemon cake. Freezer cookies. They look quite nice, but with chocolate. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be all right with them. I'm not a lover of fruit and things like that. Green tea scones, scones, whatever you call them. They look nice. Apple upside down tarts. I won't be touching them with a barge pole. Oh dear, a few goes off. Churro swirls. Chocolate brownie loaf. I think Wanda will probably be trying that. And then you've got nutritional info. Fake away is the breakfast. Um, bakes and roasts, etc., etc., etc. And then you've got the index at the back. So that is the brand new Pinch of Non Air Fryer book, which Wanda is very excited because she can now pair it with her beloved Ninja Air Fryer. If there's anything in there you want to see um, on the channel, let us know. Uh, what do you think of the air fryers? What do you think of Pinch of Non? Are you a fan of Pinch of Non? And all that. If um, leave a comment in the comments box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. See you soon.